Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful and super thankful that you are joining in to plan with me today. So in this video, you guys, I will actually be doing a recipe plan. Yes, I'm so excited to do something for the holidays. And I, so I did pull out my Christmas stickers and I'll be using the new layout from the recipe planner that released this year. So if you wanna see how this recipe turns out, then you already know, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so jumping right in, here are the stickers that I've pulled so far. And I'm going with the red and green, you know, traditional color palette. So I just pulled them from various of these books. These books are very similar. So they have a lot of the same repeat stickers in them, which I love because I'm actually able to use them all in different fun ways. And y'all, this layout is so clean. I absolutely love how clean this layout is. So I have like a blank slate to plan in. So I started out with my pen because I want to write the title of this recipe down first with my pen but then I thought about it I was like no you know what let me go into this book and see if I have some fun letters and I remember these black letters being in the Christmas book so I'm going to actually spell out the actual title and you guys in this video I will be planning for a Christmas tree cake dip okay y'all during this holiday season this is my most addictive habit I love these Christmas trees, the little Debbie Christmas tree <laughs> cakes. Like, y'all, I love them. And I actually started eating the chocolate. I love chocolate anyway, but I started eating the chocolate this year, and y'all, they are so good. So, I mean, just give me both kinds. I will be fine, but I prefer the Christmas tree ones. Like, oh, I don't know. And then they have some big ones, too, that I just discovered. I don't know where I've been. I don't know if these have been out, but those are even better because I don't have to eat two or three of them in one seat. I know I'm telling all my business, but I love these Christmas tree cakes, y'all. So I thought when I saw this dip on Pinterest, it is the little Debbie recipe. I was like, oh my God, I got to add that and I got to try that this holiday season. So what I decided to do was I took this Christmas that I cut out from a sticker and I'm actually trying to try to fit it all in this box, but it's not working y'all. So I'm just going to put in tree dip and i'm gonna put my letters in and tree cake dip excuse me and i'm gonna put my letters in and i'm just gonna eyeball it y'all i mean i can do this probably a more correct way to get them perfectly angled but i kind of wanted them to have like a little catty corner look to them anyway so to me i just kind of free flow it whenever i'm trying to do it like this and yes i feel like it looks good but i want to bring it over just a tad bit just over to the left a little bit so i'm gonna just move my letters over it's no big deal just slide them over and yeah I use my little dull exacto knife to kind of help me lift the stickers um this is probably I wouldn't do this with a sharper one but mine is so dull y'all I love this thing I love <laughs> I love that it's dull and it still kind of cuts I have to just dig to make it cut but hey it cuts okay so it's still functional and I'm using it okay so then I'm gonna take the Christmas and I'm gonna white out the top part and I'm gonna put that at the top I think that it actually look cute y'all yes I like it I like it I like it I like it use it like a little different little fun it highlights Christmas so we got some Christmas tree cakes and I'm gonna clean up my white out right here because I went over just a little bit I like to eyeball my white out too sometimes and now I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to show y'all where I cut that from. I cut it from the cookie exchange uh, sticker, so, but it works for me. And I also pulled a treats sticker too, so I didn't know if I wanted to put that at the top or way to put that later in the recipe portion because I can. So, but I think it doesn't necessarily need it. So now what I'm going to do, my idea was I've seen this trend I think in previous years of planning where people would take these little strips and they would make Christmas trees like out of them. So just kind of like a little offset funky looking Christmas tree. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take all of these little Christmas quotes and build me up a little tree. Now I am going to have to like make sure they fit. So I'm going to be cutting a little bit of the excess off of some of them and then maybe even slicing some of the words. So like I tried to make it make sense. So when you're reading it, it doesn't say weird things, but like this one says cup of 
cup of cheer and then trim the tree. So they're like two different quotes, but even though they're put together. And then this one, I'm going to move over just a little bit and cut it down some because I do need like a little smaller piece at the towards the end of it to make it kind of, you know, look like the tree is sticking out. If that makes sense. So what I'm going to do here is actually cut the word movies off of this one strip. And I'm cutting off the excess, you guys. I'm just working it, being a little sticker surgeon. And I'm going to put it all the, put it at the end. So that one says Jingle All The Way Movies. That doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, I'm liking it. So that's all I'm doing. It's just building my little tree. And I'm going to go back into my book because I feel like all of the ones I pulled were so long. Um, I didn't think about that, I guess, when I was pulling. I was just pulling out ones that kind of went with a recipe or kind of like more so a holiday theme and not specific to something in the holidays. But because I have like holiday baking, but I don't think I'm going to just worry about it. I'm just going to pull them because they're all holiday. So I'm going back in the book and I'm going to cut down this one. It says pretty packaging, but I'm going to take the pretty and I'm going to add it to the end of baking. And I actually need to cut a little bit off of this one just to kind of make it make sure it's not overlapping the green too much and maybe move it over just a hair. But and see if it kind of works. But y'all, I'm just having fun with it. Like, I'm actually loving this little idea. And I've always thought this was cute. I just had never tried it. And uh, this year, I'm just I'm just trying all types of stuff, y'all. In my planner, just having fun with the holidays. And just off top, I already love how this is turning out. So, I'm also making a note to not go up too high because the recipe is not necessarily a long recipe you know how some recipes you about need the front and the back of the page to write it out well this one is not necessarily that long it's a very simple recipe but i wanted to still kind of make sure it had like a decorative fun cute element to it so i thought this was perfect and you know the christmas tree cakes they are like white with like a red drizzle with green sprinkles so I wanted to stay with the traditional colors. So yeah, I think I have a good a good tree. So now I'm going to go in and try to find me a topper. And so I'm searching through this Christmas book. And I think I need to go into Christmas Joy. This is the mini. I'm going to see what I have in here. I thought I remember some stars. And then the Nutcracker section, sections of this book has stars. But then I go into my classic. And I'm like, I need a little bit of a bigger star. And yes, I have some. So I thought yellow would look good. Then I thought, well, I'm trying to stick to traditional colors. So maybe red. But if that was green, that probably would have worked. But I'm going to just pop a little yellow in here. It's a star, so it's fine. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm looking like, okay, I need like a little tree stump. So I thought maybe my washi would probably work. But then I thought, well, no, I don't know about that. So let me put this washi actually at the bottom of the page just to add some, you know, decor down there. Just gonna layer over me a washi strip. And yeah, I think it looks good. And it actually is like polka dot washi a little bit. I got this out of one of the books too. And actually this strip is in all of the books. And I thought it was good because you know, polka dot sprinkles. I don't know y'all, I was trying to make this come together and make this be really super fun. Just a fun spread to look at. And definitely, you know, pull out and make this holiday season if I don't make it more than once because it sounds good and can we talk about it like the ice cream to this these christmas tree cakes i have yet to be able to find and try and i've been searching and they are sold out everywhere and i'm just kind of a little bit bummed about that because i really wanted to try the ice cream version of the christmas tree cakes but this dip might be my filler okay i was so excited to see this and y'all i even saw one that was like a dirt cake too so that caught my attention as well so i may have to like make that one <laughs> like write that recipe out also because you know just have fun different variations since this is one of my most favorite holiday treats during this time okay so now i'm gonna go in i did add some washi to the top i thought the green stripes would bring some green to the top of the page so i thought that was really cute and i did try to layer them to where it looks like one washi strip so i think that worked out perfectly and now i'm going to go in and add my tree stump and i'm just taking my paper mate flare 
and I'm just going to, you know, map out me a stump with my ruler and fill it in. And y'all, look at it. I like it. I like how it turned out. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm trying to see what else I have to write in. So I bring in my stencil because I'm like, okay, now it's time to write in the ingredients as well as the actual recipe instructions. And I thought maybe if I did like a little star. And I do have this journaling stencil from the Happy Planner. And then I decide, you know what? I don't know if I want to do like yellow too, too much. So let me just go see what I have in some bullet points. And I remember this red bullet point sheet. And so I was like, well, you know what? That might work. So this comes out of my Rainbow Mega sticker book. And I'm going to just use these, you guys. So I'm going to use... The little bullet points in it and these are square and they're fine so they're gonna work they actually kind of go to me with the christmas tree so i'm gonna write in my ingredients and what i can do you guys um if you want this recipe i'll actually include it in the description box yes if you are a christmas tree dip lover or you want to try the christmas tree dip and you're a christmas tree cake lover like myself then i will put this in the description box so that way you can you know see it too but it's a really simple recipe you guys it calls for like two cartons of the cakes and to me honestly that's probably the hardest thing to find is to find these christmas tree cakes <laughs> in store but you do need two of them and then you need like some cool whip and some cream cheese and then of course like some vanilla extract some milk i believe and of course some red and green sprinkles to garnish it and that's pretty much it y'all it's really simple and like there's only like five steps y'all you put basically you blend everything into and i say everything but you blend a majority of the ingredients into a food processor and then you fold in your whipped cream and boom <laughs> it's like that's the deal and then you decorate it and i even saw like one lady and she actually had like decorated hers a little bit different than just you know having like the red and green sprinkles on that so i'm gonna be sure to notate that on the spread so i'm just writing it out y'all and like i said i feel like i'm gonna have plenty of room and even if i have the right to the size of the tree i don't mind doing that but i don't believe i will have to because i'm at the garnishing step <laughs> once you let it set and ready to serve you can garnish it so yeah that's pretty much it so now what i want to do though is what i didn't include in the ingredients list is i want to create like a little separate like little area to notate where i can put all the dippable items or options that you can do and so i thought this little black box i got this out of the functional sticker book it was out of a be happy box i believe and i remember i had like some longer boxes in there so i decided to use that and layer it with one of the green boxes that i pulled out of the colorful boxes for i believe and because this green is like the true green it's like a darker darker green then i wanted to write in dippables but i didn't like how i wrote it it was a little bit off so use white out y'all use white out i whited it out and you can't even tell who's gonna know who's gonna know nobody so now i'm like okay let me just write it regular like print <laughs> and see how i like that because i still want to use this little treat sticker that i have and i thought maybe i should just letter it in and not try to use that but i think the treat would pop on the spread i feel like i need it so i'm like well, maybe i should just put it at the bottom and just have it like hanging or something but then i'm like well let me think about that before i just commit and so i'm gonna write in my dippables and of course for a fun dip like this it's a sweet dip so of course you need some graham crackers you need some vanilla wafers and like some christmas cookies would be nice you can even do fresh fruit like strawberries or pineapples or something like some pretzels would be really good and then i was trying to think of like one more other thing and y'all i love marshmallows so i was like mm, let me see if i can like throw some jumbo marshmallows in there that might be good too if you have any other dippable items that you suggest 
comment below and let me let me know below because i think this will look really cute on a holiday tray like make like a little charcuterie board with it or something i don't know i think it'll be cute so y'all i did decide to white out that dippables and just put treat there and i whited out like the bottom of the green so it wouldn't overlap and i like it i think it looks really good so now what I'm going to do is put at the bottom, and I lost the clip, y'all, so excuse that, but I did want to put some storage information at the bottom, like you can store it in a container up to five days, and then I could use some red ganache, which is what that lady used to decorate hers to kind of make the Christmas tree stripes. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this plan with me. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know below, will you be trying this recipe? Thank you for being so sweet and so kind. And until next time, I love you. Bye.